Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at Akuma Fighting Championship standing alongside Darren Jordan and Darren a fight that was going back and forth are you expecting the tempo to be so quick? Um, yeah I fought him before in like 2013 in June he came out pretty fast straight against the cage so I was expecting the same sort of thing but he came out one strike a little bit so that was something new It seemed like you were alright to stand on the feet with him but when it went to the ground you had the advantage Yeah um, striking would be my preferred thing in that uh Unfortunately, I haven't got as much time in on the ground as I'd like lately, and that. But thanks to Ernest over there, he's helped me out with jiu-jitsu. That's why I felt pretty good once I was down. Do you ever think when it comes to a fight that you want to spend more time on your feet, inevitably you end up on the ground? I think so, and that because it's only my second fight, two against him. Same thing, first one I definitely wanted to strike because I had no grappling going into it, no training, just striking. So it was like shit, straight away up against the cage down to the ground. Was it a bit weird for your first two fights to be against the same opponent with such a long layoff in between? Um, what happened is I uh, fought him on the Saturday, the next Tuesday I went over to the UK. So I'd been working in the evenings when everyone trained, so just came back, got a short notice fight there Tuesday last week. So. There was some good ground control from yourself, uh, in particular the finish. Talk us through it, it looked like maybe he was going to get out of it at one point. Yeah, that uh, the arm bar and that is funny, like two weeks ago just out of nowhere, Brazilian guy was holidaying like 40 minutes from where we trained. He asked to come down, he was like a third degree back, black belt under Carlson Gracie Jr. And he was showing that arm bar like how to uh, pull the heel in, he called it like 100 kilos pressure. Yeah. And that's to keep them there and lucky I thought of it and got the finish. A uh, fun fact here, I actually believe uh, Balanan, the west of Ireland, is the hub for the Filipinos in Ireland. I don't know, well there's a lot of like there Chinese Filipinos, Brazilian, it? same thing. I take it's all that, <laughs> with a lot of Asian takeaways. <laughs> Well, hopefully, is your next fight going to be in a shorter distance than the gap between the first and second? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, back into it now. And got the buzz, get out there as quick as oh, possible. Yeah, that's why I just jumped into this. Like, yeah, been back training since January and that, but doing a little bit of partying and that, get the fight, you're jumping yeah. back in, gets that adrenaline going, you want to go straight back in again. So a bit of partying tonight and then back training maybe in a week? Ah, only a little bit of partying. I got fed up with it over the last two years. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Cheers. We're looking forward to seeing you again.